love each other. But you will also love your mates. And they will love you back. Love does not have to be a large fire which consumes everything. You have to build it. You have to keep it alive. Just like the chimney fires in fairy tales which keep us warm in the winter. Love is greater and more complex than you can imagine. We'll have to act fast to clean up your mess. Okay, so the thing about her is she's not necessarily wrong, but she's not necessarily right either. Yeah, love is complex, but just because one particular method of finding love works for certain people doesn't mean that it's going to work for everybody. You and Kay are the prime example of this. They don't abide by what the matchmaker thinks. They were still able to establish this strong relationship with one another. And that's kind of the fault in the whole thing of love being complex, come back and abide by the matchmaker. Is that love com comes in all shapes and sizes, and just because the matchmaker sets uh, sets you up with someone that is deemed to be your quote unquote soulmate or your perfect partner, does not necessarily mean that that is who you're going to be happy with living with for the rest of your life. There's a lot of different theories and a lot of different conversations about love and whatnot in relationships, and if you want to know like the best prime example in terms of love that is actually genuine and love that is more or less desperate essentially desperate in the sense of loving anyone because loving nobody is well it's depressing so you'll love anybody and with that type of mentality like the cracks will slip i i urge anybody who really wants to understand like you know like more of an in-depth conversation what i'm talking about Go watch uh, Daniel Sloss's special, Jigsaw. It's actually a very interesting take on relationships and love. 